Hello YouTube, cheers, my name is Bruce Lively and welcome back to another True or False with All G's Reacts. And as usual, I got my brother on the line, uh, Joshua from All G's Reacts, say what's up? What is up, what's up basement family? <laughs> All right people, you know how it is. We ask a question, true or false? I pick a side, Josh picked a side, and then we go at it. Today, it's a little controversial. Uh, last week, we, we we did a couple things, and we said a couple things, and, and in our talking, Joshua said to me that, well, you're not <laughs> ready to hit me with the social issues, you're not ready to hit me with the politics, and I said, just for that, the next true or false, I got a question for you. True or false, selling drugs ain't that bad. Matter of fact, ain't nothing wrong with it. We drug free around I here. Said it. We drug free. Selling drugs. Hip hop, baby. <laughs> yes. Now, with that being said, let go. <laughs> Yes, basement family, we're back. Controversial question, and I don't think you're ready, Joshua. I don't think you're ready, man. Ah, uh, well, I no. think <laughs> this is going to be a very, very interesting one. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going this is going to show some 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 people's characteristics. In, in this one down in the comment section. I already know it's coming. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, listen, man. This is a socio-political uh, debate that we're having here. True or false, selling drugs ain't that bad or ain't nothing wrong with it. Some people can ask, selling drugs is not what ruined our community. There's a lot of things. I'm just going to say it ain't nothing wrong with selling drugs. In the streets, yes. Now, um... I should let you go first. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I do. I need to hear what you got to say, and uh, unless you want me just to continue, because I can. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna throw a couple things out. Go ahead, and then I'll let you. I'll let you uh, rebuttal them. Now we're talking about selling drugs not being that bad. I do have to disagree to some point because of what we've seen drugs do to our community. Or in mm. communities around this country, even. Mm. Okay. So, I personally think that the act of just selling drugs is needs to be regulated to a particular point if we're going to say it should be a job. Okay. So, therefore, there'll be some accountability because with the society that we have, which is capitalism, it's a very, very destructive, implosive uh, ingredients for such a, uh, a, 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 a trade even. You know what I mean? If we're gonna, if we would call it that, we can, I don't know if we should call it a trade, but it, it wouldn't be very great with the idea of I gotta get you know more customers or i gotta have the best product or you know what i'm saying it would have to be regulated in some well, way so without regulation it's not a really good idea so in other words because you can't win you put a caveat on it you, you want to take and i and i should not have let you go first uh because <laughs> i see now how you're trying to circumvent the issue you're saying that if you regulate it which means that selling drugs ain't nothing wrong with it this needs to be regulated and i agree i agree there's i can go further than that though since you took that point people people this is a hip-hop show so how does this relate yes we all know we all know drug dealing drug sales and now in today's age even drug use has become a popular uh a popular subject for hip-hop artists the reason why is because of where they live it simply is number one it makes good business sense when you have no jobs 
when you have no opportunity and the only people you see making money are the people who are selling prescription drugs right down the corner to help people self-medicate when you tell the guy that the only thing that he can afford to invest in is a pack of something and sell it for double that to help someone else medicate from the horrible life that they're living with no opportunity, the depression that they're having. He is simply just a businessman. And so you say, well, look what it's done to our community. That what, that what Bruce Lively just said is ridiculous. He's ridiculous. It's killed our community. Wrong. You're wrong. Let me show you a graph before I get to anything else. The national drug overdose deaths involving prescription opioids in 2017, over 17,000. You know how much for heroin the same year? 15. Selling heroin had less deaths than the doctor's opioids. These are prescription opioids. If anybody can tell me that the heroin dealer on the corner is worse for his community than the doctor who sold him 2,000 more deaths at the, that's legal, then you win this argument. Argument number two, these same graphs show you that ever since the FDA stopped doing what they used to do with prescription drugs, which is test them before they got out, even in 2007, there were 12,000, no, almost 13,000 opioid deaths. In 2007, heroin, there was only 2,000. That's 10,000 more overdose deaths prescribed by your doctor bought at your corner store. That alone, that alone lets you know not only and then everything started to rise. The heroin deaths were the exact same for years and years and years. You guys see the graph in front of you right now. Meanwhile, ever since the FDA stopped regulating, the opioid deaths were rising, the prescriptions that they give out were rising, and they caused more people to take heroin. It's in the graph. Okay. Any so response? I'm I'm going to challenge your graph data here okay. because there's always another side to it. It's easier for uh, doctors and for police to come to determine the death of a person using opio opioids because they show up and they register. Uh -huh. now, think about, now think about how many deaths of uh druggies or junkies as we, as we can call them that they're just thrown in the pine box and they're not even identified tested or anything no 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 no. actually uh that's not the case when you die the state is the state is mandated by law to do to find out to find out if they don't know who you are they still by law have to report the death and there's somebody called a coroner, a state coroner. The state right. coroner's job is to find out why that person died, write it down so it's in, so it's inside the records. It's easier to know if it's heroin because the person who had the opioid overdose usually has enough money to get his own coroner, to be private. They usually have enough money to hide things if they want to. So I completely and utterly reject that statement. And I think that uh, the graphs show it. There's another, there's another part of this. Um, rich people have been buying Valium for 40, 50, 60 years to relax. Drinking a glass of wine. It's okay to sell liquor at, the, at every single corner in my neighborhood, but it's not okay to sell them weed. It's not okay to sell them your heroin or your cocaine or whatever that is. The truth is, if it was regulated, it would probably be better than liquor because alcohol is has the most deaths on it, but it's legal. You know why? Because of the money people, the people in power get the money. 
The society number one makes people have to self-medicate, don't have enough money to go to the doctor or the psychiatrist or the therapist to take care of their problems, so they buy a pack and they feel good at night. Just like when, when, when Becky goes and buys the glass of wine and she has 45 bottles of them in her, in her cabinet right now and just has a few, a bottle or two, to relax at night. Nothing's wrong with that. But more importantly, black people have bore the, the consequences of selling weed for years. Nonviolent drug offenses are the number one reasons why fathers are taken out of the community. And it's not because of drugs, because right now, weed is legal and the only people who have the right to sell it, only people who have shops are all white. While the black people who were selling the same drug are still locked up today. I'm There's gonna nothing... challenge your draft. Go ahead. I'm gonna challenge your graph again because there's something else that's not included in that graph. Yes. We're we're not getting the deaths, the violent deaths surrounded by selling drugs. Good. Understood. And br- and bringing and and how much and how much death that brings as well. So I was if I was to say if you were to include those deaths involved with the selling of your heroin, your cocaine, and I would I will say weed there has been complications, but it normally has to be a large amount of weed for it to be those type of disputes. There is no there I, has never been wait a minute, I'm gonna stop you right there. Um I I belong to a group called the Bud Craft. We've been advocating for the legalization of weed in Georgia and other states. Let me tell you right. something. The research shows there has been zero overdose deaths of marijuana right, since right. its inception thousands of years ago. Not one. Not one yet. The first time that they tried to say that marijuana could kill you if you had too much, they put a gas mask on a monkey and fed him about a thousand blunts in the space of a minute, which means he couldn't breathe, so the donkey, the monkey died of asphyxiation. <laughs> and that's what they pushed as why it's bad for you. And it okay. wasn't the weed. So absolutely not. And that's the main point is, once you make something schedule one, you can't even research how to use it properly. So more people have died from drugs being illegal than drugs being legal. I'm saying the violent deaths are surrounding the drug. Once again, use and distribution and distribution. The, once again, if drugs were legal, those violent deaths would not have occurred. They only occur because we allow the cartels. We allow the cartels to take care of a black market that doesn't belong. Before liquor was illegal, people died out of violent deaths with mafia and and all types of of illegal contraband for selling booze across the country um i see i see no proof that you're offering i see you saying things that you just want to believe that that sounds good and i can tell you it's counterintuitive yes it is it's counterintuitive to say legalize drugs and you'll have less drugs death but ask that to Nevada when they, when, when, or not, not just Nevada, when they legalize certain types of prostitution and realize that none of those girls get AIDS anymore because they get tested now. Ask Amsterdam how many, where, where there's all, where a lot of drugs, I think like Sweden, all drugs are legal in a certain place. And instead of spending the money on, on jails, they spent the money on rehab centers. So those who wanted to stop could. And those who don't want to stop got nice clean needles got good clean dope got the best weed ever and you had to do it in a certain place and all that's fine it sounds counterintuitive but there's less deaths there's less deaths there's less arrests there's better families there's more money Damn it. It, we're just so used to we, we can't honestly understand that but if anybody listens to what i'm saying and goes and looks at those facts and those numbers it's already been tried. This wouldn't be the first time we try to pro- to take away the pro- prohibition of drugs. This would be the fifth or sixth in, in the last 20 years. A lot okay, of so countries have done it. 
if we legalize drugs, yes, then you're putting at risk the workplace. Why? Because of the use of drugs. The people are already using drugs. They're dying. That's, tr- <laughs> That's true. So, but if a drug, if a company, if companies want to protect themselves from that because that's going to cause more accidents that's going to cause deaths like you just said and they say you can't use drugs here then you're going to up the homeless rate of people who would rather do the drugs than to actually keep a job unbelievable now i like how you're fighting here no hold on hold on now in the comment section you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I actually watched a video of, I want to say it's Seattle. Mm-hmm. And Seattle is kind of what you're talking about right now. The police don't really get involved with drugs and drug arrest. Uh, clinics even give out new and clean needles. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, the uh, crime rate for for theft, assaults, and murders is up. Needles are apparently open and everywhere. And even one lady said that a guy just set up a tent outside of her bedroom window of her house. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, you take the numbers of Seattle and put them against the numbers of actual other countries that have the entire country legal, and tell me which one makes more sense. Does it not make I more say, sense? Does it not make I more say, sense that because it's illegal federally, there's still a lot of things that can go wrong when just your state legalizes it is can that not be the case well what i'm saying is we have to think of the culture also so these countries no these countries have had time to adopt and adapt these particular things and we we look at them in their now state and their now status and say if we did that that's going to be good for us. If we did but, that, we would also have to have go through the time to adopt and adapt. And well, what I'm saying time, is, we would be like them. Some of these, some of these countries are not don't don't employ cap- capitalism like we do, or or even democracy in the same ways that we do, and their laws are even different in some ways than we do. What I'm saying is, the ask the pharmaceutical companies if selling drugs is bad. Only thing that's bad with selling drugs is the fact that we're doing it and not them. That's it. That's they're selling drugs. You need to go to sleep, get an Ambien. You need to relax, get a Valium. Your mind hurts, your head hurts, get an Advil. You, you have psychological problems. You, you're too active. You're too happy. You got ADD. They got another thousand drugs just for those. You're the feeling drugs lethargic. have side effects. The All drugs of them have do. But ha- have we have sell. negative effects, but we and sell the drugs. Them. We sell. Them I know. Right now, but what, I, not what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that that's going to be a compounded problem if we make the other drugs legal. No, it won't. What it'll do is I provide something called competition. That is the American way. When you can't, Martin Screlly raised the price of an AIDS drug to like $2,000 per pill because he had no competition. When you say that, well, I'm gonna sell opioids and sell the most of them, the minute that you make drugs legal, that company can no longer overprescribe or oversell them at a high rate. There's gonna be Weird. someone else who can make the same drug better and sell it for less because they don't we have are to- leaving. Jump we're leaving loops. out dr- we're leaving out drugs like meth we're leaving out these other drugs that i'm not leaving have. out meth i just gave you heroin heroin almost has no good good there's nothing good in there but it's an opioid and so people what get I'm... off the pills and go to heroin you raise you raise the heroin rate 
if, if the heroin was legal and instead of you instead of spending all your money on jails you spent them on rehab centers the heroin weight would go down and to the other point of people's jobs and getting messed up you can drink legally you can't drink on a job your job will tell you do not drink here you ride a forklift mm -hmm. the people right. who the people who decide to do that that's their that's what's up it happens but it doesn't happen that much it just doesn't but i'm saying that you're that's giving another man. avenue of another another way for people to therefore you say i no man i no you, you just you're making it up though i need to see no the proof. no what i'm saying is i work with these people that's the thing that's what i'm talking about this from first hands in fact monday our drill operator wandered off the job and got lost and got picked up by the police at 1 a.m. in the morning. And he is he was on what? drugs and he was, he was drinking. Uh, and uh, he was uh, drinking. That's all I'm trying to, here we go. So what I'm saying is, if you're gonna get rid of the opioids, people, you cannot take, uh, you cannot take about 5,000 different prescribed drugs and go to work. People do it all the time but that doesn't make them illegal. You cannot drink and go to work, but people do it all the time. That doesn't make that illegal. So the, I don't, so the people are, who are doing illegal drugs and going to work, they would find some way to take something they're not supposed to and go to work anyway. The people who don't, don't. You don't need, it doesn't get worse because you legalize it. When you legalize it, you can regulate it and make it better. That's what, That's I'm, what saying. I'm saying. There's going to be compounding problems with drug dealing being okay. And we're not even getting into the fact that when you said about competition, well, okay, who's going to be the supplier? Competition lowers prices. But who's going to be the supplier for these other Who, drugs? Who's the supplier the same, right now? The same, the same, the, the same. <laughs> Pharmaceutical Johnson & Johnson companies. will be the supplier. How about that? <laughs> That's about the that? same pharmaceutical companies that we're dealing with. That yeah, mix, so that, get rid that's going to mix it up. Or get rid of none of them. <laughs> get rid of all of them or get rid of none of them. Don't put don't put me in jail when, when Pfizer is selling the same thing, making a heavy profit. Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. I want some profit. <laughs> I, I actually stand by... I stand by that. I don't think it's a great idea for drug dealing to be legal in the it sense It already where, is. It's just not the drugs you know, that black people sell. Yeah, we do that's, that. Um, that's the difference. Especially with no regulation because we need, there's, we there's other cities like Oklahoma City that has a meth epidemic and Seattle with their... Oh, man. So, I'm just saying I stand on not legalizing every single drug we still rocking dare around here drug free <laughs> and that's the way to be <laughs> the war on drugs has killed and arrested more of our people than any drug really ever has uh but listen also in those comments uh, or not even just that just a caveat i also think if we do legalize it should be regulated but the real question is or the real true or false statement is ain't nothing wrong with selling drugs True or false? Now you can have a whole bunch of reasons why or why not, but that's the true or false question. Answer that oh right God. down there and tell us what you think. That was a Let them know man. that we drug like free. That. Let them know we drug free around here. That's we what's up. That. Drug free until you drink that Budweiser. That's a drug, people. <laughs> uh huh. Oh that's, uh, man, that's nothing oh. but that ain't nothing but. Mm. Ain't but yeast, ain't nothing but yeast and sugar, man. That's all that is. So man, let them know down below, baby. The, the <laughs> let herb, them know down the below. The herb is a plant that grows from the ground, natural. You ain't got to do nothing to it. And that's considered <laughs> a Schedule 1 drug. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it, people. You know you smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we're going too far. Listen, we know we got mad comments. We are going to shout them back out. I skipped a whole lot of them on the last one. Just give us time, people. We got you. We got you. We got you. It's coming. Leave those comments. Any last words? Nope, not for me. Guys, remember, check out the show, man. Leave your comments. Share the vids, man. Share the vids. Let's get this, let's get this show spreading. All right? Go to Team Box Cutter. Go in there. You still selling beats, Bruce? 
Of course. He's still Never selling stop. beats. If you need some beats, get some beats from Bruce. He makes the best. Appreciate that, man. That's a big plug, man. I appreciate that. And you know what's going to scroll up at the end of this? If you guys want to hear the type of hip-hop that you don't get to hear every day, watch the reactions that you nobody else does, you know where to go for that All G's React channel. Let's do right, it. Right, baby. Hip-hop lives. That's right. And with that being said, well, I'm Nixon. Peace.